everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear. I wanted to come to you with a little bit of an update in our digital dental kind of arena and some innovation that we're seeing in digital dentistry. As you know, I'm a huge fan of digital dentistry, including 3D printing and milling. I've been using a VHF K5 mill for some time with a high degree of success, milling crowns, dentures, full arch prosthetics, etc. However, I felt the need to go ahead and bring in something that allowed me to go ahead and go home at a reasonable hour and then also increase automation in my combined clinical laboratory environment. As a result, I took my K5 and I decided to go ahead and bring in a VHF R5. The VHF R5 is an incredible machine. It's a high thoroughput and really super industrial type machine that can also work in a combined clinical laboratory environment in my dental office like I have here in California. And what's really exciting about this and why I kind of did this in my practice is number one, I can go ahead and use wet as well as dry milling. So I can mill titanium or metal based products with really ease and simplicity. In addition to that, I can go ahead and mill ceramics, things like a lithium disilicate type of block or disc. Now what can happen is, is, is that I also really knew in the back of my mind that I was really excited about a 10 disc changer which this particular mill, the R5, has a 10 disc changer to allow you to go ahead and load up a bunch of discs in the mill, go home, and come back in the next morning with basically a bunch of these discs already milled and the job's done for the night. And that's really important for me in my combined clinical laboratory environment because if I have this mill running four or five discs during the day, it can really put a drag on my compressor since we're also using the compressor throughout the office and, you know, with seeing patients and, and, you know, prepping teeth and doing all those types of procedures. However, like last night, I went ahead and programmed my machine to go ahead and do a couple of arches of dentures. Meaning that in a historic world on my K5 unit or on any other unit uh, that uses just a single disc where you have to physically change it out, I'd have to go ahead and mill the arch of, say, the teeth and then an arch of the base separately. So I'd have to be physically present for me to go ahead, all right, I'm done with the first one, unscrew, put in the second disc, screw it back in and click start. But yesterday, I wanted to go ahead and give it the test with my new R5 unit. I loaded up a arch of teeth, an arch of base for both the upper and lower, and in addition to that, a, uh, a, a zirconia crown. I, I put in a couple of zirconia crowns into my mill. So I literally, at five o'clock yesterday, clicked play on my R5, and let's go ahead and see what happened. I can click the button to go ahead and open up the bottom portion of my mill, and lo and behold, I can open up, and I have the entire section of teeth for this particular arch of dentures. And I'll open up for our denture base. So it spins around, opens back up. And I now have my denture base all milled here as well. And you can see it in the back of here as well. I've got additional discs that are just waiting for me to go ahead and finish up my crown and bridge procedures. But I'll go ahead and close the lid here for now. What's really exciting about this machine also is, is, is that in addition to the automation, I can go ahead and really have a very clean milling unit. So I went ahead and I milled several arches of PMMA in the R5. And take a look in here. I've got dust, no question, like any time that we mill with PMMA, but there's very minimal dust compared to some of the other times that I've milled on other units or in other machines as well. So as you can see here, bringing in automation and then also efficiency in the digital dental laboratory environment, and especially in one that is a combined clinical laboratory environment where I work side by side with my dental technician in my office, what happens is, is, is that we've really grown into wanting to be able to mill more and more and more, especially bringing in additional things like milling titanium. So stay tuned. This has been an initial kind of update and report of a new piece of equipment the VHF R5. I'm really excited about this unit. Stay tuned for additional information and clinical case examples of utilizing various technologies such as our milling machine here.